The blockchain is the DNA of the mark of the beast. ID2020.org. Digital identity benefits both individuals and organizations. Personal. Unique to you and only you. Persistent. Lives with you from life to death. Portable. Accessible anywhere you happen to be through multiple form factors. A unique convergence of trends provides an unprecedented opportunity to make a coordinated, concerted push towards the goal of universal digital identity. New technologies including blockchain, when it is used in conjunction with long proven technologies such as biometrics, now make it possible for all people to have access to a safe, verifiable, and persistent form of technology. The ID2020 project is funded by Accenture Corporation and Rockefeller Foundation. Accenture and Microsoft are creating a blockchain solution for this digital biometric ID. They are working for a biometric blockchain technology to decentralize the digital identity. This platform is called the Decentralized Identity Foundation. Decentralized Identity Foundation, a key of the decentralized identity equation is how people, devices, and other entities in the world are identified absent a centrally owned registry. DIF seeks to address this by developing specifications, protocols, formats, and implementations for cross-chain routing, indexing, and resolution of decentralized identifiers and names. Some of the points for the Decentralized Identity Foundation are Decentralized identities anchored by blockchain IDs linked to zero-trust data stores that are universally discoverable. This crossover platform for the digital universal ID is the framework for the mark of the beast. I hope you all have had opportunities to make new connections and have some interesting conversations so far. Welcome to the session on the journey to self-sovereign identity. And like any good story or any good journey, this one is comprised of an interesting cast of characters. The Sovereign Foundation is a private sector international nonprofit that was established to govern the world's first self-sovereign identity network. Identity for all. Self-sovereign identity is an identity that is 100% owned and controlled by an individual or organization. This group and many others like it are working towards the globally recognized universal ID for the biometric blockchain system. For everybody. For all people. This is why it says in the book of Revelation chapter 13 verse 16 about the mark of the beast, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark. This is an all-inclusive global biometric ID. They are setting up what is called a singleton. The philosophy behind the singleton is that ultimately there will be an artificial intelligence government, whether it be perpetually for good or perpetually for evil. The narrative being shared is that in order for us to stop a perpetual evil global governance using the artificial intelligence, they must institute the artificial intelligence global governance for perpetual good. But really, they're both evil. Listen to this interview of Elon Musk in reference to the artificial intelligence system. Um, so we need to be very careful with the artificial intelligence. I'm increasingly inclined to think that there should be some uh, regulatory oversight uh, at the inter at maybe at the national and international level, uh, just to make sure that uh, we don't do something very foolish. Um, I mean, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. You know, you know all those stories where there's the guy with the pentagram and the holy water, and he's like, yeah, you sure you can control the demon. Even the Ethereum digital blockchain currency is no stranger to the satanic influence, as you see the pentagram on their website. This is not a coincidence by any standards. The United Nations ITU suggests that the artificial intelligence be used for good for global governance. The United Nations is suggesting that the artificial intelligence be implemented for global governance in order to track and monitor all things on the planet in order to bring solution to the sustainable development goals. The artificial intelligence tracking the blockchain is their solution. Other organizations and alliances are working towards the same goal. Fintech for good. Blockchain for Sustainable Development Goals Alliance brings together institutions and global leaders to develop POCs and pilots and mobilize capital to scale up such blockchain-based SDG solutions. United Nations Commission for Blockchain Blockchain for Impact 
Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation presents The Goalkeepers. The UN-based Better Than Cash Alliance, funded by Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, is moving towards achieving the Sustainable Development Goals through digital payments. The World Bank. Blockchain technology redefining trust for a global digital economy. The blockchain is a major breakthrough. That's because its decentralized approach to verifying changes in important information addresses the centuries-old problem of trust. A social resource that is all too often in short supply, especially amid the current era's rampant concerns over the security of valuable data. It turns out that fixing that can be a boon for financial inclusion and other basic services delivery, helping to achieve the global objectives laid out in the Sustainable Development Goals. Nasdaq.com Blockchain Technology and the Changing Global Economy at the Etherel Summit Blockchain technology is predicted to add 2.5 billion people to a new decentralized global economy. The promise? An inclusive global economy. Blockchain technology empowers all individuals. All individuals, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. The end goal for them is to get a biometric implant ID into everybody in the planet that will be tracked throughout the world using artificial intelligence in order to solve the sustainable development goals. The blockchain will be used to track all the data in its supply chain, including your digital currencies. Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk, who's known for his futuristic ideas, was at the World Government Summit in Dubai earlier today discussing artificial intelligence. Musk issuing a warning, saying, quote, over time, I think we will probably see a closer merger of biological intelligence and digital intelligence. Mike, not sure exactly what he means by that, but he explained that what he meant was that computers can communicate at a trillion bits per second while humans are limited by typing to about 10 bits per second. Yeah. I mean, obviously, some some kind of enhancement to human capabilities using something embedded or something attached. He's using something embedded. He's using something embedded. He's using something embedded. He's using something embedded. He's using something embedded or something attached. He's using something embedded or something attached. Controlled opposition platforms like Infowars are using propaganda to convince people that it's a good idea to go along with taking this technology. Think about that growth curve in understanding towards the singularity and if we as a species don't have a real debate about this we don't have any future it's like I parachuted into some forbidden island in the Pacific Ocean and natives were firing arrows at me with their bows they see it as that threatening that I'm there giving them admitted science the future is here ladies and gentlemen it just hasn't been equally distributed and if we don't demand that these technologies be revealed and that the positive attributes of them be deployed to us, we are locking ourselves into a new dark age. Trump intends to release, here's the big secret. I'm getting chills right now. They're gonna release, they're gonna, they're gonna start accelerating the release of the advanced technologies and things that American ingenuity has developed. They're gonna start releasing it instead of hoarding it for themselves life extension, super quantum computing, now interdimensional theorem, uh, just, just it, it, it's all about to happen. The globalists wanted to take this and hoard it and have it in compact cities and break away civilization technocracy for the elite only. Trump is about to deliver the technology to the people. It's everything we've talked about. We want access to the life extension. We want access to the super technologies. We want it all. That's just one of the secrets. Let me continue with the secrets. You're gonna get that. That's why these greedy bastards are so pissed. So Trump, just like they used COG or global government on a wider model in 1944 to try to take out Hitler, he's running a giant Operation Valkyrie against the New World Order using their whole globalist system to actually prepare to double cross that 
and instead of America being sucked dry, build up America and then actually pump all those countries with high technology as well and create a giant synergistic true globalism. And create a giant synergistic true globalism. And create a giant synergistic true globalism. United Nations Partnerships for Sustainable Development Goals. The United Smart Cities is a project for the United Nations to unite all of the digital smart cities globally under the same goal of fulfilling the Sustainable Development Goals. Their goal is to have artificial intelligence tracking the blockchain in every single one of these cities globally in order to meet all of the Sustainable Development Goals. This makes the global government bypass the national governance and turns these cities into city-states. Through controlled opposition, Donald Trump is helping dissolve the current world order. This creates condition for the formation of the new world order, thereby helping the agenda. World leaders are now saying that the cities need to take the lead in the establishment of the Sustainable Development Goals. This was planned long ago when the world mayors had went to the Vatican to meet with the Pope to discuss the Sustainable Development. Mayors of 7,400 cities worldwide have vowed to keep the commitments made by Pope Francis and Barack Hussein Obama for the Sustainable Development Goals. The Sustainable Development Goals being monitored over 10 world regions by a biometric tracking implant is the mark of the beast.